Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. During AWS reInvent 2024, which just wrapped up, AWS announced the release of AWS Glue 5.0. This release brings some major improvements in speed, cost efficiency, and compatibility with open source data formats. In this video, I'll cover which updates come in this release and why you might want to consider upgrading if you're an existing AWS Glue service user. I'll walk you through everything you need to know in this video. For those that are new to AWS Glue, it's a serverless ETL service by Amazon Web Services, which helps you extract, transform, and load data for analytics and machine learning. It's built on Apache Spark, making it powerful and flexible. AWS Glue can connect to various AWS services and external data sources for reading and writing data. AWS Glue also provides a low code option through AWS Glue Studio. This graphical interface allows you to build, visualize, and manage ETL workflows with minimal coding. AWS Glue 5.0 builds on the foundation to make things faster and more efficient. The last version of Glue, which was Glue version 4.0, was released two years ago, so it's been a while since the last release. So let's dive into some of these new details. Upgraded Apache Spark Runtime Versions AWS Glue 5.0 supports Apache Spark 3.5.2, one of the latest versions for enhanced performance and compatibility. It also uses Python 3.11 and Java 17, giving you access to faster libraries and improved coding efficiencies. Performance and cost improvements. So AWS Glue 5.0 is reported to be 32% faster than Glue 4.0. It also reduces costs by 22% thanks to optimized job execution. AWS Glue 5.0 reduces costs compared to Glue 4.0 due to the optimized job execution and improved Apache through Spark 3.52 performance. The improved runtime environment with Python 3.11 and Java 17 also reduces overhead, making the ETL process more efficient and resource effective. There's also been open table format updates. These formats are key for organizations for building lake houses on AWS. Booty was upgraded to 0.15.0, Iceberg to 1.61, and Delta Lake to 3.2.1. AWS Lake Formation Integration. So Glue 5.0 now supports fine-grained access controls for better governance when managing large-scale data lakes and lake houses. The Spark native fine-grained access control using lake formation in AWS Glue 5.0 is a significant enhancement that allows you to implement detailed access controls for your data lake resources. So if you are an organization that needs to implement strict data access policies, this will be a very useful feature. There's been also added support for AWS S3 access grants. So this eliminates the need to write and maintain bucket policies or individual IAM rules and provides automatic permission management for S3 data access. This simplifies access controls for end users running glue jobs. They've also added requirement.txt support to install additional Python libraries. So in previous glue versions, additional Python libraries needed to be installed via job parameters. And in the realm of data governance, data lineage support has been added in Amazon Data Zones for AWS Glue 5.0. This helps visibility and tracking of our data sets by automatically tracking data set transformations and visualizes data flow for source to consumption. Amazon SageMaker Unified Studio support. This year at reInvent, Amazon announced Amazon SageMaker Unified Studio. And it's good to know that it supports AWS Glue 5.0 for compute runtime of unified notebooks and visual ETL flow editor. And the last one I want to talk about is Amazon SageMaker Lakehouse support. So Amazon Glue 5.0 supports native integration with Amazon SageMaker Lakehouse to enable unified access across Redshift data warehouses and S3 data lakes. This was announced this year at reInvent as well. And what it does is unifies all your data across Amazon S3 data lakes and Amazon Redshift data warehouses, helping you to build powerful analytics and AI ML applications on a single copy of data. All right, so how do we upgrade our Glue jobs to use the latest version? So if you're in the Glue console and you have created it either through the visual ETL interface or through script editor, so you can see here by the created by section is the method that we've used to create it. So if I were to click on an existing job and if I go to job details, if we scroll down to Glue version, we should be able to click on that drop down and select Glue 5.0. And once we hit save, our job, when it runs the next time, is going to use that latest Glue version 5.0. 
Now, it's important to note that if your script relied on additional Python functions, you need to make sure that they're compatible with Python version 3.11 before you upgrade, since AWS Glue 5.0 now uses 3.11. And if you're starting a brand new glue job by default, it should be using glue 5.0. So you will not have to change anything in order to use this latest version in your job details section. With these updates, AWS Glue 5.0 continues to improve performance and data set support to make it easier to process massive data sets at a lower cost. Tell me what features in the comments below you are most likely to use and are excited about. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.